Okay, this is the second part of the review, take home review for the test for unit two. Uh, we're trying to get a lot of these uh, numbers figured out, this ordering of all these little digits. So what I would do is think about this on a number line and go to the stuff that you, let's get a reference point, there's zero. So go to the stuff that you know and convert any scientific notation to standard. So I'm going to wait to convert this. I don't want to move it 19 places. This is, these are really close together. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is 607,300, whereas this one's only 60,730. Move this one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is 6,073 pi. Now we're going to compare these two right here. Well, this one has, you move it over 19 places, this one's 18. So this is the smallest number on here. So if you gave these letters, that might give you the easiest one. So we're going to go from smallest to largest. So I'll highlight them and mark them off here. So smallest. And then this one, oops, sorry. This was the smallest, sorry. 1.6 times 10 to the 19th. This is the second. Okay. Uh, pi is a little bit bigger than, so pi is right here. 3.14, this is 3.5. So pi is a little smaller than the 3.5, so pi would be next. Now I've got my 6,000, then I got 60,000, then 600. State which of the numbers in part A is irrational. Irrational, cannot write as a fraction of integers. That's all you need for explanation. Pi, cannot write as a fraction of integers. Any other one of these, if you write them out the long way, you could write them as an integer. Don't, leave, don't say these are irrational because they're written in scientific notation. Mrs. Bowman is running six miles per hour. How many meters is she running per second? So six miles, one hour. That's her rate. We need to get hours into seconds. So that will cancel out the hours. And we got miles. I know how many feet are in one mile. 5,280 feet. So now the miles cancel out, we're left with feet per second. So six times 5,280 divided by 3,600, 8.8 .8 feet per second. List all the members of R, given that R contains all multiples of 5 that are less than 40. Less than 40 means not including 40, so our first one would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and we stop. This didn't say less than or equal to. What is the least common multiple of 10? You can multiply these out until they're common, or you can say 10 is 2 times 5, 25 is 5 times 5. The least common multiple needs to have both numbers in it. So 2 times 5 times 5. That's 50. That's a pretty easy one. You might be able to list them and find it. But you just need to contain both numbers here. What is the greatest common factor? Again, you can use your 2 times 5 and your 5 times 5 and then find the biggest number that goes into both. There's a five that goes into both. Is negative seven a prime number? Why or why not? No. We only use our definition of prime. Is only for positive integers or if you want to do this way n star. We don't talk about negative prime numbers. It's just kind of our definition. Mr. Curtin 
guess the score of his favorite test student to be a 25. The actual score was 27. What was the percent error? Percent error is the difference between the guess and the actual divided by the actual. And then change it to a percent. So it's always absolute value. So I know that 25 minus 27 is 2. 2 divided by 27, 0 0.0741. which is 7.41%. Mr. Mead guessed the same thing. Favorite student would be 25. The actual score is 23. So 25 minus 23 over 23. Again, they're off by two, but it does not leave the same answer because the denominator So because the actual score was lower, that changes your, so eight, six, nine, five, six, which would be 0 0.0870 or 8.70%. So percentage error, that formula is on there. All the other ones, uh, these are terms I would suggest you go back and do your Quizlet of terms. Make sure you know which things are in the number sets. To show that something's a rational number, you write it as a fraction of integers. That seems to be an ongoing issue. Uh, do these problems. Go back through review. We'll, we'll start off with the review in class, walk around review a little bit that we picked up on uh, the other day. But go back and do your some of the problems if you didn't get to them. Uh, don't fall behind this early. We want to keep you on track.